Let's go! Hello, 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 and welcome back to Sophisticated Obsession. My name is Matt, and on today's show, we're just gonna have a chat. We're just gonna have a chat, we're just gonna have a bit of a get together, a bit of just a bit of a chin wag, as it were. A lot of things have changed um, quite rapidly, quite recently. It has been absolutely ages since I spoke to you last, and I feel like we've been sort of living in a world that is very different now. It almost seems like we're living day day by day or at some points even hour by hour. It's strange. It's really, really strange. It's odd. It's just yeah, and 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 for, for a lot of you guys, I can understand it being incredibly scary. Before I get into like the main sort of crux of this video, with everything that's been going on, what we have then noticed in the media, it's the, the smaller companies that are sort of getting the brunt of this, so like the independent stores, um, even down to sort of like the lower league football teams are struggling to then like pay their bills and stuff. They're so dependent on bodies walking through the turnstiles. So I can understand that even on a like a sporting front, it must be a really, really big struggle and, and just a, a challenge every single day. One thing that I will say is that um, just to think about the other people that are that are out there and the businesses that are maybe not the, the size of like Amazon or Apple and the, the businesses that really do depend on you guys. Just keep in mind just when you're going out like getting your food shopping or or when you're browsing online just pay a little thought to the independents. I did a, a video uh, quite a while back and it was uh, celebrating Castle Street. Now the, the one thing that hopefully came through to you guys was just the, the sheer passion that I have about the independence of Liverpool. Independent stores they give your city a vibrancy, they give it a diversity, they give it something different that you can only find there. That needs to be cherished because otherwise what you will then have are just a load of different cities but they don't actually look different, they look incredibly similar. I don't want to live in a world where we are literally just full of chains. That in itself is probably going to then have quite a, a reverse effect on everything, you know, just the way in which we shop and the economy and, and everything like that. High streets would most definitely dry up and we're already seeing that at the moment, but I think that even more so, uh, high streets, they will not survive. They, they won't survive without without your support. With everything that is going on, I know that you guys must be stressed out to the max. Just pay a, a little bit of a, uh, a, a little bit of a thought to those independents. I am sure that they would really, really appreciate it. Now, um, sorry if you can sort of hear my voice. Um, I'm suffering from a cold. I don't know whether it is the dreaded virus or not, but I've been self-isolating. This is my fifth day now in self-isolation. Actually, not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I thought that by like the third day, I would be climbing the walls. Whereas actually, it's, it's been all right. The issue though with madness is that you don't see it, do you? It's the other people that see it. So I could have gone completely mad and I wouldn't know. It's okay. I'm, I'm quite all right, I'm fine. So yeah, we're just gonna carry on. So today I'm gonna be reviewing just a couple of different products that I have, just telling you about the things that I've really, really enjoyed recently when using them in self-isolation. So this is almost like my self-isolation help kit. That's not an official name or anything and I have literally just made that up. Um, two seconds ago, but that's what I'm calling it. Right, let's kick us off. So, <coughs> so first of all, we have Elemis uh, Pro Collagen Marine Cream. There is a men's version, which actually I don't like as much. Um, I prefer this one because I prefer the smell. Men's one, it is, it's nice. It's still the same sort of cream, but it's just unscented. So the cream, it's relatively thick. 
but it is incredibly nourishing. I would definitely say that a little bit of this goes quite a long way. Obviously, if you if your skin is very dry and your, your skin is prone to cracking and things like that, then yeah, maybe use this a little bit more. But I would say that use this maybe two, three times a week at most. If you're applying sort of oils to your skin and it's not doing anything and you're still finding that, that your skin is peeling, then maybe pull back on it slightly, just to then give it a little go, just to see if if it is too much oil that is then causing the peel, or if it genuinely is uh, just really, really dry skin. I've just been applying it just before I go to bed. My skin, when I wake up, feels really, really nourished. My complexion doesn't look as red or blotchy. The downside, it is quite expensive. Maybe if you can find somewhere that has then got some like sort of sample kits, or if you can then find a kit which then has this in it as well, then probably do that. So that is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Next, um, from Elemis. This one I actually found recently in like my downstairs loo. Not actually in the loo. Oh my god, it's like, is this leaking or is this just water? <clears throat> I think it's just water. I look like I've just wet myself now. Um, oh shit. <laughs> so this is the Elemis Black Soap Body Wash. This contains charcoal in it, which is why it is then black. As you can then see, This doesn't actually like taint your skin in any way. It just sort of lathers up into sort of like a grey paste. It says that it purifies, revitalizes, and nourishes. It definitely revitalizes your skin because there is uh, definitely an added um, ingredient of like mintiness there, which just makes it just sort of come alive on your skin a little bit more, which is really, really nice. It does make your skin feel really, really clean, um, supple, soft. I would definitely say that this is like an everyday use. I've been using it every day and haven't had like any problems. I haven't had any dry skin. A really, really nice product. Very underrated because I hadn't actually heard of it. So yeah, give that a go. Next one, I cannot rate this enough. This is a shampoo from Lush, and this is called Big. It pretty much does what it says on the tin. I usually have my shower in the evening, and when I wake up each morning, like my hair is like I absolutely swear by sea salt. Uh, I love it, I love it in hair products. I usually use a sea salt spray before I then apply my, uh, uh, my hair product, but I've actually not been using it. I've just been using this instead, and it is absolutely incredible. So this actually has coarse sea salt in there. Looks like a pretty weird and disgusting texture, but honestly, it is amazing. Just trying to scrape that off. You will find that when you're then, um, when you're using it, you're gonna be a bit like, oh my God, there's like literally chunks of sea salt in my hair, what do I do with this? Don't just rinse it out straight away. Let it sit there for a little bit. Hang on, I'm just gonna wash my hands. Right, where was I, sorry. You will find that um, it will give your hair a lot more texture um, and a lot more body, which is what it's designed to do, but it won't make your scalp excessively dry. I will definitely be picking up a larger uh, bottle of this at some bottle, pot of this at some point because uh, I did get the smallest pot just to then give it a bit of a go, but I'm, I absolutely love it, so I will be coming back and getting the, uh, the, larger, the larger pot. Now, when I went to wash my hands, I actually then realized um, about another product, which I have actually used before, and actually I've done a review of it before, but this is the Resurrection Aromatique Hand Wash by Aesop. I absolutely love this. Certainly, 
at this moment in time when hand washing is so, so necessary, uh, you need a good hand wash. And this, I find, this leaves your hands feeling incredibly supple. I know that there have been some people that have then been saying that their hands have felt drier than Gandhi's flip-flops. I get that, I understand that. You can also get the hand uh, balm, or, you know, hand balm? I think it's called the hand balm. And you can actually get it as a pack. I think it's about like, 80 pounds or something. If you do suffer with dry hands, then maybe that is something that you need to do. So yeah, the Aesop Resurrection Aromatic Hand Gel is definitely a must, certainly nowadays. Okay, finally, um, we come to the last product. I've walked into a shop in Liverpool uh, on the Albert Dock and instantly I was hit with this just incredible smell and I was like, I recognise that smell. It smelt of this, Creed's Aventus. And it was actually a candle and I was like, what? I was basically toying with the idea of, should I get it, should I, should I not? And in the end, I was just like, I'm in the flat for God knows how long, screw it. From Owen Drew, we have the candle Aventus. I don't actually know how they've got away with this. Is it, is it copying? They've basically named it the same thing, except that it's Aventus, not Aventus. I'm not into the legal stuff. All I can tell you is this smells absolutely incredible. Now I haven't lit this one, but I have lit uh, another one which is behind me and I'll try not to scold myself when I grab this. So this one is the Anglesey candle. It basically smells like you are at the seaside. It smells very, very similar if you haven't tried it to Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. It's very salty, it's got like a sort of a sweetness to it. There is like a woodsy, green sort of vibe to it. And it's just very, very fresh. So I've been burning that um, today. Tonight I'm gonna burn Aventus to, uh, to sort of just set the mood. Don't know what I'm setting the mood for, I'm on my own. I'll, I'll have a silent disco. It's gotta be a silent disco because otherwise I'm gonna annoy the neighbors. But Screw it, I've, I've decided now, I'm having a silent disco on my own. Sounds quite tragic really, that, doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't done so already, check out Owen Drew. There was another one that I did smell, I haven't got it yet, but I'm, I'm thinking of getting it, and that's called Port of Liverpool. And it's all to do with the, um, uh, to the goods that they then brought into the country. So like the exotic fruits and, and like the tobacco and things like that. So I think that that will be my next on the list to get. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful in some way. Guys, this has been really, really fun. It's been nice talking to you again. And also it's been nice sort of sharing with you the, um, the couple of, uh, products that I've been using recently. As always, please uh, hit us up on Instagram just to see what we are getting up to on a day-to-day -day basis. And also hit that big subscribe button. Take care guys, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!